Less than 2.5, adding and subtracting radicals. So now we've got stuff with roots that need to be put together with addition or subtraction. I made a little note here that says radicals must match to add or subtract. So that means they must be like terms. So let's take, for instance, an expression like x. Let's do 3x plus 4x plus x squared. If I said simplify this, you would put together the 3x plus the 4x, that would make 7x, but you can't add an x to an x squared. So it would stay like this. The same thing happens with radicals. It's what's under the radical that matters. So in number one, I see a negative radical six. That's really a negative one square root of six plus four square root of six. So it's saying how many square root of sixes do you have? Well, negative one plus four is like four minus one, that's three square roots of six. You do not change the radical. Just like here, we did not change this into x squared, we kept it x. So it's how many x plus how many x made how many x? How many square roots of six plus how many square roots of six made how many square roots of six? All right, number two. These don't match right now. Square root of 45 and square root of 80. But I also know I should be able to break these apart. If you recall our perfect square numbers, one was the smallest, which does us no good. Two times two is four, three times three, nine, 16, 25, uh, 36, 49, 64, 81. No, I missed, no, I didn't, no. That should, be good enough. Okay, 45 can divide by nine. So I'm gonna split this up into square root of nine times square root of five. Okay, square root of nine is a three. So I need to take negative four times the three I'm bringing out in front, square root of five, which would be negative 12 square roots of five. Okay, here, 80, uh, can divide by more than four, start at the top. 80 can divide by, I believe 16, yeah, 16 times five. Hint, a lot of these will become like terms, so you should probably try to end up with a square root of five, so match this one. Square root of 16 is four, so I'm gonna have negative 10 times four square roots of five. Negative 10 times four is negative 40 square roots of five. Negative 12 minus 40, because now I can put these together since they both have whoop, square roots of five. Negative 12 and negative 40 make negative 52 square roots of five. So it's all about using the rules we know to simplify and then combining your like terms. All right, last one has some variables. Remember that the variable exponents need to match or be multiples of the index here. And these are square roots, so we need multiples of two. But anyway, let's simplify this. Square root of six, that cannot be divided by any numbers on our list. Six is not a perfect square, nor does it have one in it, so I'm gonna keep it over here. X cubed needs to go down to X squared, and it's gonna have a leftover X. So this is negative six X times this becomes just x because squared square root cancel times square root of 6x, which becomes negative 6x squared square root of 6x. All right, 96. Let's look at our list here. 96, what can it divide by? Not 49, why not 36? Not 25, 16, yep, 16 and six. Five needs to go down to four and have a leftover. So then that's gonna be minus eight times square root of 16 is four x squared, square root of six x. It'd be negative 32 x squared, square root of six x. So like terms now with variables means it has to have a number and this all has to match. And it does, so it's how many x squared square root of six x's do we have? Negative six minus three, two more would be negative 38.